initiating moisture. Modern horror movies suck shit, but they're always entertaining to watch, in my opinion. Welcome to the Moist Meter. Today we're looking at The Prodigy, the latest modern horror movie. This one's actually not nearly as bad as most of the other big ones. This movie is two movies, in my opinion. There's a good horror movie, which is the first half of the movie, and then there's a generic shit show horror movie, which is the second half of the movie. The premise is super interesting. Uh, a boy gets an unwanted reincarnated visitor inside his mind, and then he has to battle to control the body. And the parents have to decide whether or not that's their son, or a serial killer that's inhabiting his body. It's a really interesting premise. I really enjoy the premise, and I really like the first half of this movie. It does a great job of building some tension. It pulls no punches. It gets creepy. It seems very mean-spirited. And then the second half is, wow... Look at everything we took from every other horror movie of the last 20 years that you guys don't like. You guys aren't happy about that? What do you mean? The movie fucking sucks in the second half. I, I'm just going to get that out of the way. But in the first half, uses some genuinely creepy moments. Some good tension-building moments. It, oh, it's really... I, I, if this movie just had the same uh, intensity in the same direction as the first half, this would be a pretty goddamn good horror movie on par with Hereditary, in my opinion. The creepy child horror movie thing is nothing new. But the premise of having it be a reincarnated serial killer, like an actual human soul instead of a evil demon out here looking for blood cum and tits. That's a nice spin on it, to not just go that route. And they do it really well. Uh, the acting is pretty good as well. They sell the performances. The father's performance was kind of weak in my opinion. He was just that standard like rock hard, my son ain't no other dude. My son's my dude and he likes to, he might be a weirdo, but he's my dude. And with every other character, it's an actual performance that they deliver instead of just this caricature of masculine man-dad. One thing I really... Well, there's a lot I didn't like about the second half, but one thing I don't like in, like, the first half of the movie... Well, I guess it's in the second half, kinda... Is that you know the dog's gonna get killed. Spoiler alerts. Anytime a horror movie has a dog in it, it's getting fucking murdered. And I hate that. It's such a cheap, lazy way of making the audience feel like, Damn, that's some evil shit. It is so goddamn generic and tired i don't know why they keep using dog deaths to cement the idea of bad guy you shouldn't like him because he just fucked that dog up real good it's so cheap uh, they need to think of a different trope to beat to death i'm so tired of them just killing dogs it, it's so fucking upsetting and so lazy that they keep using that that shit has been a staple in horror movies for at least the last 30 or so years at least I don't know why they can't try and think of something else to make the character. This is evil. Obviously, the character is evil. You don't need to have this dog that everyone from the beginning of the movie knows is going to get killed by the evil thing. So, I'm so tired of that one. I could rant about that for a while, but I'm not going to. First half of the movie, good. Second half of the movie, bad. Uh, that's, I mean, I'm not even going to get into why it's so bad in the second half without spoiling too much. It has a shit ending. Like, a real shit ending. Uh, they The whole movie towards the second half really seems to just want to make the audience upset. Like, yeah, we're not afraid to be real dark by copying other horror movies. I, I just don't get it. I, I, I really don't. They had something really nice in the first half that they shit on, shit all over in the second half. One thing I want to commend, though, is the jump scares in the first half of the movie. And I don't care for jump scares. I don't think anyone does. They're not scary. It's just startling. But here... They used a few jump scares really well that I didn't expect and I thought were really well executed to really cement the idea of that might not be your kid or maybe it is. It, it plays with the audience and I think that was really good with how they used those scares. Overall, the movie is better than most modern horror movies and it could have been a lot better if they didn't you know, have switch directors or something at the second half of this film. Let's plug this shit into the moist meter. I'm giving this a 40%. Uh, I don't think they switched directors, by the way. I guess the dude just uh, decided he was didn't want to make something good or some shit. Couldn't tell you. But the movie is not bad. It's not a bad horror movie. It really isn't. It just falls apart. Absolutely falls apart at the end. And uh, that's it. See ya.